With so much AI content flooding the internet, standing out with real human sounding writing has never been more important. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to take AI generated content and transform it into something that feels natural, authentic, and ready for the real world. Now, I get it. The idea of humanizing AI content can feel a little controversial, but here's the thing. It's not about tricking anyone. It's about making sure the content we create meets higher standards of clarity, quality, and trust. And whether you're writing blog posts, marketing materials, or academic work, audiences deserve writing that feels real and relatable, not robotic. And we'll start by generating some content using Hicks AI. We'll then run it through several AI detectors to show you how it gets flagged. And then after that, I'll show you how to use Humbot to humanize the text and retest it, proving that it can pass as human written. And real quick, before we get started, if you get any value out of this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. Helps me bring you more resources and it keeps you up to date with all of the AI, web, and tech trends happening throughout the year. But either way, thank you so much for all your support. All right, with that being said, let's get started. Okay, first head over to Google and search for Hicks AI. This is what I'm gonna to use to create the AI generated sample content. Then on the Hicks AI homepage, I'm gonna use their OpenAI O3 mini model. And for this example, my prompt will be, write an essay about biology being taught in college. And then I'll send that through. And in just a few seconds, Hicks AI gives us a full essay about my requested topic. This is the text that we'll be using in the AI content detectors. So I'll go ahead and highlight all of this and copy the entire essay. And once copied, we'll move over to the AI detection tools to see if it's in fact flagged as being AI generated. First up, I'm using Originality AI. So I'll paste the text into the scanner and hit the scan button. And then for the sake of time, I'm gonna fast forward through the processing parts of me using these tools and as you can see, the results come back with 100% confidence that this content is AI generated. Next, I'm switching over to GPT-0. And just like before, I'll paste the same text in here and then run the detection. And once again, the results show a high probability that the content was created by AI. Next, let's try using copy leaks. So same thing, I'll paste my AI generated content and send it through the tool. And in a few moments, the results are in and this is marked as being 100% AI. Then we'll head over to zero GPT and we'll do the same thing. And no surprises here either. The text is marked as being 100% AI GPT. Then finally, let's try Winston. So same thing, I'll paste my AI generated content and send it through the tool. And once again, it's telling us that my essay gets a human score of 1%, meaning that it's highly probable that this was generated by AI, which it was. So on that note, let's see if Humbot can help me humanize this text and bypass AI detection. Okay, now that we've confirmed the original content is AI generated across all of the detectors, it's time to humanize it. So first, I'm gonna head over to Google again, and this time search for Humbot. And there it is, let's go ahead and open it. And this will take us to the Humbot homepage. And from here, you'll see that there is a text box where you could paste your AI generated content in there. So let me go ahead and do that. I'll paste that biology essay we created earlier. And then once it's loaded, go ahead and click the humanize button and Humbot will then process the text for a few seconds. And once it's done, it will display a fresh humanized version of the essay. And then below that, you'll also see confirmation that the output content is now marked as human written across major AI detectors like GPT-0, copy links, zero GPT, etc. But let's test that out and see if the detectors actually agree that it reads like a real human wrote it. So. Let's go ahead and copy this. So click the copy button to grab the newly humanized version. 
And then once again, we'll head back over to Originality AI. And this time I'll paste the newly humanized text and run the scan. And in a few moments, you'll see that it now shows likely original with 100% confidence, exactly what we wanna see. But let's keep going. So next, let's head over to GPT-0. And same thing, I'll paste the humanized text here and run the scan. And here are the results. It's now telling us that the content shows a strong human score. And it's confident that the text is entirely human. Perfect. All right, let's try copy links this time. And we'll run the AI detection scan again. And this time the result is 0%, no AI content found. Then at zero GPT, we'll send the humanized content through. And this now also confirms the text is no longer flagged as being AI generated. Finally, over at Winston AI, when we enter the newly humanized text and run the scan, it now shows a dramatically higher human score compared to the original. And as you can see, we're now sitting at 100%, which is obviously passing the human threshold with flying colors. And that's gonna do it for this walkthrough. As you saw, we started with fully AI generated content that was flagged by every major detector. But after using Humbot to humanize the text, we were able to pass all of the detection tools with flying colors. And this process shows just how powerful tools like Humbot can be when you need your content to sound natural and human written. And if you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more step-by-step -step guides like this one. And if you wanna try this method out for yourself, I'll leave links in the description below so you can check out both Hicks AI and Humbot. All right, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog Within YouTube channel. Also, if you're looking to start a blog, check out these two videos on how to build, grow, and monetize a WordPress blog. They'll walk you through the entire process step by step. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.